you're caught in a battle with other people in your life, whether it's with conservatives or with progressives or with uh, corporate neoliberals or with libertarians or with socialists or with capitalists or with corporatists or with big oil companies or with elites or with some conspiracy group that you're you know fighting with. So you're caught in this sort of battle and this is draining you of your life energy. Fundamentally, you should be able to feel through an introspection capacity that you've developed, hopefully, by watching my introspection episode. You should have, you should be able to feel that this sort of negativity is actually robbing you of your life energy. It's making you a bitter, spiteful, angry, fearful person. You should also see that this is polarizing society at a collective level. So this is not just a personal problem, it's also a collective problem. Because as all of us, the more we start to demonize each other and attribute negative bad intentions towards each other, not able to see the good intentions of all sides, this makes us hate each other more and we can't operate cohesively as a society. And then it might get so bad that society will disintegrate. People talk about a civil war. <laughs> you see, so it's a problem both collectively and individually. And for you as an individual, if you're a progressive, let's say, um, what it does is it actually puts you out of alignment with your spiritual center. Your spiritual center is love and goodness and positivity and creativity and being constructive and being compassionate and being empathetic. And you as a progressive, you value this, you value empathy, but you lack the empathy necessary to radically understand and integrate something like the perspective of a fascist. And you justify that in your mind by saying that, oh, well, Leo, that's not practical. We know climate change is too important for us to, to compromise with fascists. And issues of LGBTQ rights and uh, animal rights and other things are too important to even care about understanding the fascist perspective. This, I suggest, is a short-sighted perspective. You're sacrificing a short-term victory in a single battle, but... Even if you win that battle, you might lose the ultimate war. And you're so focused on winning that battle that you're not seeing the entirety of the war, how it fits into the larger picture of things. And you're not even seeing how it affects you individually, how it robs you of your own spiritual center, how it diminishes your love, and your own capacity to be good. And to be happy. Because you can't fundamentally be happy when you believe that there are all these actors in the world with bad intentions. You're, you're always going to be bitter and fearful. And this is the karmic consequence of untruthful perception. To him who is afraid, every bush rustles. Every shadow is cause for concern and worry. The point of spirituality is to raise the clarity of your perception to such a high degree that literally you expunge evil from the world. And this is why I'm so 
how should I put it? I'm so um, anti, I, I guess I should, I'm so anti-conspiracy theory. I'm so anti-conspiracy theory because fundamentally what conspiracy theories do is they make you paranoid. They make you believe that there are groups and cabals of people out there who are conspiring to do evil against you. They make you feel like you're the good guy and they're the bad guy. And when this is your worldview, you better believe this shapes how you feel. It actually disconnects you from the highest thing you can achieve in the world, which is a recognition of infinite love. You are literally severing your connection to infinite love and goodness and to God and to truth. Whenever you attribute evil intentions to other people or groups. You cut yourself off from God, not knowing that you're doing so. And so the reason we're having this conversation is because I'm trying to guide you towards a realization of infinite love. But how can you realize infinite love if you believe that there are actors in the world with bad intentions? So I would like you to just try to adopt the following perspective. Put it on for a while. Put it on like glasses, you know. Put this on like orange colored glasses. Wear them for a week and just see how it feels. And then you could take them off if you like and go back to your old ways. So I would like you to put on the orange colored glasses of, for the next week, everything you see on the news, every everybody you argue with, everybody in your life, everybody that you think about, every group, all the political activity going on, every government and so forth, every corporation, I would like you to see all of it as actions from the highest good and the most loving intentions, but extruded through a very finite form. So of course it's going to be limited and it's going to be corrupted. And I also want you to see yourself in that way as well. So we're not making any exception for you, you and all of your actions over the next week. Whether you lie, cheat, steal, manipulate, or do some quote unquote traditional good things, you know, you do some charity work or whatever. Whatever you're doing in your life for the next week, I want you to see that, whether it's good or bad, all that action is also coming from the highest love and goodness, but it's being extruded through the limited shape of your ego mind that you are. And therefore, it gets corrupted and it comes out in a twisted fashion. And so maybe you say something nasty to your spouse over the next week, or maybe you leave some nasty comment in a YouTube video over the next week, or maybe you steal some paper clips at work because you're, <laughs> you're selfish or whatever, or you're, you're cheap. You don't want to buy your own paper clips. So you steal some from work. Well, you know, whatever, whatever you do, all of that, I want you to see all of that as love and goodness, but corrupted, finite. And then I want you to connect these things such that what's being extruded through you, really, you see it as the same process, the same structure as what's being extruded through the guy on the news. or your political enemy or opponent, or that corporation that you don't like. And then notice, notice what happens when you actually do this. Notice how it makes you feel. There's going to be a shift an important shift. And then if you're wise, 
you could intuit the power and the truth of what I'm telling you here and then continue wearing these glasses for the rest of your life <laughs> beyond this one week. You see, you're going to try them out for a week. <laughs> try, try seeing the world truthfully and with love for one week. <laughs> see if you can handle that. And then carry on for the rest of your life. And then deepen it too. It's not going to stop there. We're going to keep working on this. I'll have more episodes in the future that will keep deepening this love until ultimately, it's it's all working towards something. Uh, ultimately, this will help to inch you towards the realization of infinite love. That reality is the manifestation of infinite love. 